I'm gonna show you the redesigned cabinet that I've come up with. The awesome rolling toolbox plans are available. There will be a link at the end of this video you can click on in the video as well as down below and take you directly to our online store and you can choose any of the plans or packages of plans. We've put together some of the most popular packages. Before I show you this new cabinet design, I wanna revisit the last video where we talked about the pull-out butane or storage where I have these uh, bearings that um, will carry the load. And a great observation by you is that with the weight of the butane or storage over time on the wood, that there would start to be maybe some trenching and it might not work as well. And that makes a lot of sense. And some of the recommendations, I looked at all of them, were to do pull out slides like in, in uh, truck bed pull outs. I don't really have room for that and I wanna avoid more expensive hardware. And again, this is a long unit and I wanna stick with this particular design. But I did have a comment from a couple of you guys about using a, uh, instead of using hardware, of using that thick, um, I guess a kind of phenolic plastic and so I want to redesign to go in that direction. So I'd eliminate this hardware and put this tape on this three quarter inch piece and on the bottom of the butaner storage so that it would just have this much less friction than wood to slide out. And I also think I'll use it on the bottom of these drawers here as well. What I need to know from you is I know somebody out there has bought some of this and I want to know what to buy. Now I've gone to Amazon and they have this material here and it is, this one's a little shorter than I need. I'll want, um, this is a three foot length roll. I want it, you know, that three and a half inches, four inches wide, but I want long enough that I can put it in single pieces. So that'll be an eight foot piece, two eight foot pieces. And then uh, I can use the same width underneath on my drawers, just on either side. So if you can provide a link to material you've purchased, one is do it in the comments so that everybody will see it and can go check it out, help, help everybody out and help me and I'll get it ordered and then you'll see me use it and give it a shot. And I'm willing to try it and if it doesn't work, I'm willing to take it all apart and go to something different. But I think this will be the most cost effective, eliminating the hardware and it's a product that looks like that it would be very durable. The cabinet design, I've set up these dados to be a certain spacing and then all of the different heights are adjusted by a factor of those that spacing. So I'm keeping the drawers uniform so that whether I'm using the, there's two drawers, everything is identical about the drawers, the depth, the width, how the, bo the bottoms are going to be identical on all of these. The only difference is the height of the sides and they're exactly a factor of two. So a double height drawer will fit where two single height drawer will fit. So I could just decide, I just want to do all double height drawers. I have also reduced the material in the drawer on these spreaders, these three and a half inch wide spreaders. I used to put two on the top two on the back and a third in the taller ones and then two on the bottom. So I've eliminated one on the top because this three quarter inch or 18 millimeter bearing point is enough. I don't need to add that extra. And I did the same thing on the bottom. So I've eliminated that other bottom spreader. And again, trying to be smart, I'm reducing the amount of material I use, the amount of material I have to cut, the amount of assembly time and a little bit of weight, not a lot of weight, but a little bit of weight. So if, if it isn't adding to what I need, if I don't need it, then it's something I can take away. And the more I can take away, the smarter it is. Now, here is the big change, the drawers. Do you see how, if you look closely at this, the bottom of the drawer is below the dado. I would have to lift it up and it would just kind of tip up and then pull it out. And what you'll find is rather than making those 
half holes in the dados on the sides. I've just simply removed material rather than added, added the screws on the bottom. Three quarter inch or 18 millimeter dado left an eighth of an inch in that first two inches. That side of the drawer will simply ride across and then once the cutaway hits this point, it'll drop down. So you just need to simply lift the drawer and pull it out. So this is exciting to me. I like this design. There is now no hardware. These bottoms are all going to be identical. I'll be able to make these rectangles. I'll make a little jig to cut away this amount. So I, I, might, do a, I might do a jig that'll do both sides at once so I can make all of these. And then I can just put the jig on it with a router and make these cutouts. It's no handles as before, um, just cutting away. So I'm, I'm creating the things that I need by taking stuff away in this case wood rather than adding on hardware that you have to pay for and and install and by with a couple of quick made router jigs you've seen this one for making this handle i've got a little jig i just put in and route them out and i've set it up just clamp it right on the front of the drawer and it doesn't i've set the spacing down from the top exactly the same on the tall drawers as well as the narrow drawers so the same jig works and i'll just make all of those fronts and the fronts and the backs are identical so i can make them all and then just take half of them and make all of the pullouts for it i can do the same thing make all the bottoms and then put the router jig on and route them all out so it can be a, a an assembly process an efficiency process i will run and and put the 16th inch dado all the way around i did this in art you saw it there it's simply setting up my dado blade i could do it with a router but it's faster set up my dado blade and then i'll have all of the bottoms and then i'll do the front and back of all of them because they're right to the edge and then I'll make an adjustment and do the sides. So that'll be two operations, but it'll be a really quick. Even if you purchase a set of art plans, which have the older style, this the dados are already there and just simply making this one modification uh, for the drawer pullouts is a no brainer. If you're enjoying following along this creative design process of the smart wood shop, be sure to subscribe, but more important for me, if you could share it with others and help me grow my subscribers. We're growing, I'm excited. We're growing um, as much as we've ever done. And it again, it's woodworking, so we're not as popular as cat videos, but I think uh, we can still build a, a strong um, following. And what comes with that in, for your benefit is then vendors and suppliers want to get on board and i've got some exciting news along that vein with some ultralight plywood which i'll be telling you a lot about that in another video to come here in the next day or two so follow along subscribe share with others give it a thumbs up thanks for taking the time to watch have a great day